Hey everybody, welcome to our YouTube channel. My name is Glenn Tompkins and I've got a video for you. Two of the most widely, most popular talked about cryptocurrencies, Shiba Inu and Doge are you know, taking over the headlines. Today, I'm gonna to give you three reasons why Shiba Inu could explode. And if you stay to the end of this video, I'm gonna give you the battle of the blockchain. So if you wanna know why Shiba Inu could have the potential to go up nicely, you sit right there. <laughs> Hey everybody, Glenn Tompkins, Senior Instructor here at VectorVest. Always love bringing these videos to your attention. So you look on YouTube and everybody's talking about, hey, you got to go buy Shiba, you got to go buy Doge, Doge, you, you got to do it. Listen, I'm only here to educate you on these things. Only you can make the decision on whether or not you want to partake. If you're brand new to the channel, by all means, please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that you'll be alerted when new videos like this come out. And of course, if the information comes out and it makes sense to you that you can use it in practical application or it's helped you in any way, shape, form or fashion, hit that like button and share this video with everybody in your circle if you want them to get an education on crypto as well. So a while ago, I did a video that talked about the whole crypto ecosystem, talked about the coin itself, talked about the blockchain, talked about the miners. So slowly but surely, I'm going back around and I'm going to try to do some videos on each one of those. Today, though, is going to be about Shiba and why it could explode and what's going on in the world of cryptocurrencies right now. And again, I told you, if you stay to the end of this video, I'm going to also give you a brief synopsis of the black battle of of the blockchains. All right, so let's get right into it. Um, right here, crypto crackdown, and this is the elephant in the room right now. Crypto is pulled back a little bit. People are getting concerned. Listen, I still think that the crypto space is a very speculative space, is a very volatile space, but it is garnishing a lot of attention and for the right reasons. It's growing, it's becoming more useful. Now, another thing in regards to the cryptocurrencies, what's got the most utility? Where can you use the crypto coins? Well, of course, Bitcoin is the big boy. You can use Bitcoin everywhere that they pretty much are taking cryptocurrency. But is Shiba or Doge more have more utility? And right now I'm thinking that Shiba's got a little bit more utility than Dogecoin. And we're going to talk about that in a second. But this article, I just got it this morning. Uh, the crypto crackdown awaits after the SEC fastball attempt. Feds warn SEC Chairman Gary Gensler and former SEC Chair Jay Clayton discuss what? The unstoppable growth of cryptocurrencies. It talks about a lot of the legislation that's going out in regards to crypto. Uh, on Wednesday, they both talked about the skyrocketing growth of cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin, which is the coin, which is the Bitcoin, and Ethereum, which is the big blockchain at the Digital Asset Compliance and Market Integrity Summer, uh, Summit. Uh, I think the technologies do not persist for long as they stay outside the public policy framework. That's what, he, that's what Gensler said. If you are a proponent of projects or this space, then you should know that without trust, the public is not going to stay in sufficient numbers that you want long term. So I think he's trying to question the public's trust in this space. And again, because of the speculative nature and the and the crazy volatility in it. People get in, people get out. There's a lot of opportunities to make a, a lot of money and very quickly there's a lot of opportunities to lose money. Uh, but if I scroll down a little bit more, in this marketplace, there are a lot of people who thought they could throw a fastball by regulators and decided that they were going to take their chances of pushing the regulatory envelope with the hope that regulation would come in that direction. I, Gensler, said the SEC would use the enforcement tool with crypto exchanges as needed, but I think a better approach for these platforms is to work to get registered within the law, he said, during the event, according to Market Watch report, working within the law. So are the laws, the regulations going to stymie what cryptocurrencies can do? And I think that leaves a lot to be desired or a lot to be looked at. So let's go move on to a different story. How about the rising importance of cryptos is undeniable. Bitcoin achieved a major symbolic milestone earlier this year, surpassing 
one trillion in market capitalization. Apple has done that too, right? With a broader notoriety, famed billionaires like Stanley Druckmiller and Paul Tudor Jones, and institutional investors like BlackRock have jumped onto the cryptocurrency bandwagon. It's garnering a lot of attention from a lot of big companies. You remember when you started talking about cryptocurrencies a long time ago and it was a joke? Now it's not a joke. Right now, cryptocurrency is sitting at the big boy table of investing. And a lot of people are even thinking about looking at cryptocurrency as a hedge better than gold. I don't think we're there yet, but I keep talking about that. I keep hearing about that, so we'll keep that uh, right where it is right now. Now, let's get into Shiba. Shiba Inu source. This is reason number one why Shiba could explode. Starts trading on Kraken. And we're going to come back to that in a second. Reaches $2.3 billion held on whale addresses. Shiba Inu News digested by uh, you today. That's going to be big as it trades on Kraken um, because that's a big space where there's a lot of exposure for Shiba Inu to be traded. Now, big thing is a lot of people are still complaining that you still can't get it on Robinhood yet. You get it on Webull. So the retail investors trying to get into this space, uh, that leaves a little bit to be desired, but that's a whole nother story in and of itself. But Kraken is a big, or Kraken is a big way to get more exposure. And now thus in increases the utility of the coin. Now, let's go to Do Dogecoin killer Shiba coming to Brazil's largest crypto exchange. Now, I wanted to see how big of a story that was. Now, that's number two that could give exposure. Uh, how many crypto owners in Brazil? There's about 4.9% of the Brazilian population that own crypto. But 90% of the Brazilian crypto users are male, regardless of gender. 40% of crypto holders are 20 to 25 years old for the younger generation. And that's where crypto is really going after is the younger generation. The other groups are 26 to 30, 31 to 40, respectively, I represent 20%. Now, it also says Brazil, next South American crypto hub. Brazil is the fifth country in the world in terms of number of cryptocurrency owners. Aha, the fifth country in the world. This gives a lot more exposure to Shiba, Shiba Inu as well. So now, how about this? Uh, the Federative uh, Republic of Brazil is a country in South America with a population of 208 million uh, and has the largest D GDP in both Latin America and South America. Again, so Brazil does offer a lot of exposure to the cryptocurrency market and Shiba being on it could be big. Now, it's got the eighth largest GDP product, but small GDP because the country for the most part is poor as well. So I wanted to understand and get a feel of why being on Brazil uh, cryptocurrency exchange was important because it does offer a lot of uh, exposure. Now, let's talk about this. SHIB flips AVAX, which is Avalanche, which is a um, crypto, uh, sorry, which is a, yeah, it is a chain. It is a blockchain. Um, and we're going to talk about that in a second. And here's number three. Newegg, it's got a relationship now with Newegg, and again, trading on Kraken, Kraken, however you want to say it. Listen, it's trading on a big exchange, all right? And Newegg, which is a, a place where you can get a lot of tech stuff, uh, now will take SHIB, you can take SHIB Inu and put it on there. So that's number three reason why um, SHIB could move. It's getting and garnishing a lot of exposure, a lot of exposure. So now let's go back before I get into the battle of the blockchains. Let's go back. What's Bitcoin doing? So I'm at a website looking at Bitcoin. Bitcoin, Bitcoin is pulled back a little bit. I've got a solid level right now on Bitcoin sitting at 53,674, uh, 53, which is not far from the most recent swing high here at the price level, about 52,546. I'm looking at stochastics on here as well. Stochastics is telling me that it is not oversold. I think it still has a little bit more drop pullback. And I'm going to go to the pullback to this level right here here on Bitcoin of 52,421. I think that's where it's got a good level of support before it can start taking off. And I think the news behind what's going on in this space, garnering so much attention, could have it rise up a little bit more. All right, so that's where Bitcoin stands. Now let's talk about the battle of the blockchains. The blockchains are a ledger where you change your, your Bitcoin, but it's got to be tracked and it's tracked on the blockchains. The blockchains are immutable. They're very highly 
uh, watch from a perspective of security. So as you move through the process of paying or transacting with Bitcoin, it's got to go through a blockchain. And there's three major blockchains. I'm going to bring up another one that you guys need to keep your eyes on as well. All right. So my next story is talking about Solana surpasses, uh, surpasses Cardano and Ethereum. Ethereum is the big name in blockchain, just like Bitcoin is the big name in the digital coin. So Solana is coming up uh, against Cardano, which is a big name in the blockchain. And of course, Ethereum is the biggest name. But Solana is becoming one of the most staked cryptocurrencies. And I'm liking this right here. And this is a bold statement. The Ethereum killer, just like Doge uh, or, or Shiba is the Doge killer, they're saying that Solana is the Ethereum killer. While many blockchains in the past have dubbed as the Ethereum killer, Solana is a blockchain living up to the name, competing strongly with blockchains such as Cardano and, of course, Ethereum. So now, Let's go talk about, um, it, this story talked about the, another one, uh, the SHIB uh, bypassing uh, AVAX or Avalanche. Let's talk about Avalanche. Avalanche is in another blockchain. It's got a little bit of money as seed money, $18.5 million in seed money. Uh, one of the largest crypto performers like the Three Hour Norda. Polychain, capital supporting uh, point of service chain. Avalanche ec ecosystem accelerator colony has raised 18.5 million in seed investments to bootstrap the next generation of the Avalanche blockchain projects, underscoring heightened demand for proof of stake ecosystem. Goes into a lot more information, but I want you to keep your eyes on Avalanche. Now, as I go back over to my list in uh, coin market cap, I've got a watch list of uh, the cryptos that I keep my eyes on, and this is my watch list. So starting off with Bitcoin, these are all sorted by market cap. Bitcoin is the biggest. Uh, on the coin side, Ethereum is number two by market cap on the uh, blockchain side. Solana is right behind it, number five. Cardano is number six. So our three main blockchains, the battle of the blockchains, Ethereum, Solana, and Cardano, and I'm introducing Avalanche, uh, which is number 11 on the list by market cap. But if I look at them, look at Ethereum over the last seven days, Solana, Cardano one, though, is the one that's under some selling pressure. Let's move down the list. Let's go take a look at Shiba, which is number 13 by um, market cap. And let's go. There's Dogecoin number 10. Look at Doge, though, in the last seven days in the red where Shiba is in the green. I'm telling you, folks, Shiba could have an opportunity as long as we keep our eyes on what's going on with Bitcoin. Shiba could have a really good opportunity to start to rise and rise really big based on these stories that I've just talked about. But these are all of the cryptos that I will eventually do stories on. There's not a ton of them that I'm keeping my eyes on, but these are the ones. And I know people out there talking about Doge along Mars. Oh, man, it's moving up right now, up 9.72%. And even right now, some of these, you know, with the fall of Bitcoin, a lot of these are taking a hit right now. And it is what it is. But look at that. Solana supposedly, possibly the Ethereum killer up 6% over the last seven days where Ethereum is only up 1.7. Keep your eyes on Solana. Cardano has always been the one that people have been looking for when looking at Ethereum. Keep your eyes on Solana. Uh, uh, and just keep your eyes on Avalanche as well. So with that, folks, just wanted to bring you up to date on the three things that are moving Shiba in you right now. And I wanted to give you an, an, an update in regards to the three biggest uh, blockchains, along with the one that I also want you to keep your eye on, eyes on, which is Avalanche. If you like what you saw here, folks, comment. Let me know how you feel about it. Let me know what you think. But most of all, hit that like button. Folks, this video is over. And until the next time, see ya.